My friends, have you ever noticed how life is a lot like a Wi-Fi signal? Sometimes it's strong, keeping us connected to our dreams and goals. Other times it's like that one bar of signal, barely there, making us question if we can even load the simplest of life's pages. Well, today I'm here to be your human Wi-Fi booster to strengthen that signal of belief in yourself and reconnect you to your dreams even if life's got you stuck on the loading screen. So buckle up because we're about to boost your signal to full strength and get you back in the high speed lane of pursuing your passions. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a power that lies within each of us, a power often overshadowed by doubt, fear, and the overwhelming pressures of life. It's the power of belief in ourselves, in our dreams, and in our ability to overcome. We all face times when what we're up against is too big for us. The dream is too great, the problem too strong, the opposition too powerful. People rule us out and think it's never going to happen. You don't have the resources. You don't come from the right family. The medical report is not good. All the facts say it's impossible. But God on purpose will have you underestimated when it seems the least likely that's when he shows up the greatest. Don't get discouraged when you're underestimated, it's a setup. God put you in that position to show himself strong when you defy the odds. Everyone will know his favor is on your life. But when you're outnumbered, outsized, outeducated, outtrained, don't be surprised. If people discount you, tell you you're not talented enough, not tall enough, not strong enough, not experienced enough, that may be true, but what they can't see is what God put in you. They're just looking on the outside from a natural perspective, but you have something on the inside, the seed of Almighty God. It will take you where you can't go on your own but sometimes doubt will whisper, you don't have what it takes. How could you accomplish that dream? Where are you going to get the funds? How can you take your family to a new level? You're barely making it each week. How can you get the promotion? Coworker is more qualified. They have more training, but deep down, you can't explain it. Something tells you, you can do it. You were created for this. You know it's going to happen. People look at you and think just the opposite. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. God uses underestimated people. When you look down on told, it's not going to happen. Get ready. You see, every one of us faces challenges that seem insurmountable. Obstacles so large they dwarf our hopes. Dreams so bold they scare us into inaction. But I am here to remind you that these challenges, these fears, are nothing but stepping stones on the path to greatness. Remember, the most extraordinary achievements in history were accomplished by ordinary people just like you and me. People who were underestimated, who didn't have all the answers, who faced giants in their lives. Yet, they triumphed not because they had extraordinary talents or resources, but because they had extraordinary belief and determination. You might feel small in the face of your challenges, just like David did before Goliath, but it's not the size of the challenge that matters. It's the size of your courage, your faith, and your willingness to stand up and face it. God loves to take the underestimated and do something awesome. The reason he puts you in situations that are too big, too strong, too much, is not to defeat you, but to establish you. When God turns it around, when you discover the greatness inside, when you step up and defy the odds, people will see you in a whole new light that's moving you toward your God-given purpose. When you're tempted to feel overwhelmed, outnumbered, not enough instead of giving up, have a new perspective. I'm underestimated and that's okay. I know God is up to something I know, Favor is coming. I know new doors are about to open. I know healing is on the way. God is going to defy the odds and do what only he can do. So I challenge you today. Don't let the world's doubts become your own. 
Don't let your current circumstances define your future potential. You have within you the power to defy the odds, to turn the impossible into the possible. It's time to stop underestimating yourself. It's time to start believing in the power of your dreams. Remember, every great journey starts with a single courageous step. Take that step today. Believe in yourself and watch as the world stands in awe of what you can achieve. You are powerful. You are capable. You are unstoppable. Go out there and show the world what you're made of. Embrace being underestimated. God loves to take the underdog and cause them to shine when people don't believe in you. They're discounting you. All the facts say it's never going to happen, but you're in perfect position for God to surprise you. Can you say amen? My friends, I want to share something really special with you today. It's about inviting Jesus into our lives as our Savior and Lord. Have you ever thought about what it means to have a Savior? Someone who loves you unconditionally, who's always there for you and who guides you through every step of your life. Inviting Jesus into our hearts is like opening the door to the best friend we could ever have. He's someone who understands us completely and loves us even when we make mistakes. When we invite him in, it's like we're saying, Jesus, I believe in you. I trust you to guide me and help me. It's not about being perfect. It's about having someone perfect to lean on when we're not. Jesus offers us hope, love, and a future. When we make him our savior, he forgives our mistakes and helps us grow to be better each day. And as our Lord, he leads us on the right path. I just wanted to share this with you because it's made a big difference in your life. If you ever want to talk about it or have questions, I'm here. Remember, inviting Jesus into your life is a personal choice, and it's all about love and acceptance. Let us pray. Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth, today I stand before you embracing the faith proclaimed in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in you, God the Father Almighty, and in Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. I believe that he was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. I believe that he descended into death, and on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at your right hand from where he will come to judge the living and the dead. As I affirm this ancient creed, I confess my sins to you. I acknowledge my failures, my disobedience, and my inability to live up to your holy standards. I have sinned in thought, word, and deed by what I have done and what I have left undone. In this moment, with a humble and contrite heart, I turn to Jesus Christ, my Savior. I believe that his death on the cross paid the penalty for my sins, and his resurrection grants me new life. I now openly invite Jesus into my life as my Lord and Savior. I commit myself to follow him, trusting in his grace and mercy to guide me. Lord, please forgive my sins and renew my spirit. Help me to live a life that reflects your love and truth. Teach me your ways that I may walk in the path of righteousness. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may be empowered to serve you faithfully. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of salvation and the promise of eternal life. I am grateful for your unfailing love and the hope I find in Jesus Christ. May my life be a testament to your grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, amen. I encourage you to attend a local church as it offers a valuable opportunity to deepen your faith and connect with a community of believers. In a local church setting, you can engage in fellowship, service, sharing, mission work, and participate in worship. These activities not only strengthen your personal spiritual journey, but also allow you to contribute to the growth and nurturing of the wider faith community. By being part of a local church, you gain access to resources, guidance, and support that are essential for both individual and communal spiritual growth. I strongly encourage regular attendance at a local church as a means to enrich your faith and live out the teachings of the Bible in a supportive and engaging environment. My friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget before you leave, hit subscribe and like the buttons and comment amen below if you love this video. Thanks for watching.